Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In the last video, we saw Celestron Next Stars, 4SE, 6SE, and 8SE telescopes. There is one more series of telescopes by Celestron known as Celestron Next Star SLT. SLT here means Star Location Telescope. The telescopes in this series are aimed towards beginner to intermediate astronomers. There are four telescopes in this SLT series, 90 SLT, 102 SLT, 127 SLT, and 130 SLT. All the telescopes from this series have top quality optics, which you would normally get with more advanced telescopes, and also one of the main features is the mount. The computerized mount uses the proprietary Celestron Star Align feature, which makes the stargazing process much more enjoyable and easy. The main difference between these telescopes is the aperture size. 90 SLT has 90 mm aperture, 102 SLT has 102 mm aperture, 127 SLT has 127 mm aperture, and 130 SLT has 130 mm aperture. Let's see what 90 SLT has to offer. It is the cheapest and the smallest telescope from the series of Celestron. It is a Makustoff Kaze grain telescope with a focal length of 1250 mm. Its aperture is 90 mm and has a focal ratio of 14. It has a computerized go-to mount, so setting up this telescope will not take more than five minutes. The computerized mount comes with a database of 4,000 celestial objects. With Sky Align technology, it is very easy to point the telescope and then lock on the object which you wish to observe. It makes this telescope perfect for beginners. With this telescope, you can observe the lunar surface, Venus and its phases, polar caps on Mars, Jupiter and its four moons. The next telescope in the series is the 102 SLT. This is a compact beginner telescope. It is a achromatic refractor telescope with a focal length of 660 millimeters. Its aperture is 102 millimeters and has a focal ratio of 6.5. This telescope also comes with a computerized mount with a database of 4,000 celestial objects. When compared with the 90 SLT, this telescope has a bigger aperture and because of that, it collects 63% more light than 90 SLT. This means when you look beyond the moon with these telescopes, you'll see much brighter images of planets. With this telescope, you can see all the objects, which you can see with 90 SLT, but they will be more bright and clear. In the clear skies, you can also see the deep space objects like nebula or the spiral arms of the Whirlpool galaxy, but don't expect too much from this telescope for deep space stargazing. The next telescope in the series is the 127 SLT. If you're looking for an affordable telescope to view the solar system and a bright deep sky targets, then the next star 127 SLT is a great option. This telescope has everything that an amateur astronomer would need. This is a Maxutov Kaze grain telescope with a 5 inch aperture. It has a focal length of 1500 millimeters and a focal ratio of 12. The telescope weighs just 8.3 kilograms, so it's very easy to carry around, especially for those people who enjoy stargazing in the garden as well as travel to other low light dark sites. This telescope also comes with a computerized alt azimuth mount with a database of 4000 celestial objects. It is easy to set up and align this telescope. Unfortunately, this telescope does have a small drawback. The telescope is quite heavy for the mount it comes with. It will never fall off from the mount, but the upper part of the telescope is heavy because of this. When you move the telescope, the mount vibrates. Every time you move the telescope, you'll have to focus on the sky again because of the vibrating mount. By making some adjustments like using vibration pads, you'll be able to minimize these things completely. You can see details of the lunar surface, Venus and its phases, polar caps on Mars, Jupiter and its four moons, Saturn with its rings visible, and much more. The last telescope in the series is the 130 SLT. This is a Newtonian refractor type telescope with a 5.1 inch aperture and has a focal length of 650 millimeters and a focal ratio of 5. Its weight is the same as the 127 SLT telescope. This telescope comes with a computerized alt azimuth mount and very easy to set up. As the telescope has a bigger aperture, it can collect 35% more light than the 102 SLT. This gives you brighter and clearer images. This telescope comes with a two eyepiece. One is a 25 mm Plossel eyepiece, which gives you 26 times magnification, and the other is a 9 mm Plossel eyepiece, which gives you 72 times magnitude. This telescope also has a similar minor issue of the mount as 127 SLT. Other than that, this telescope is a fine entry level telescope that will introduce you to the realm of deep space objects. With the 130 SLT, you can see details of the lunar surface, the rings of Saturn, the polar ice caps on Mars, the cloud belts of Jupiter, or a number of the Messier objects such as the Globature Cluster in Hercules, M13, or the Great Nebula in Orion, M42. So that's it. This is what Celestron's SLT, Star Location Telescope Series, offers you. I hope this video helped you make a better buying decision. 
If it did, then please give us a thumbs up to this video. If you want to review any other telescope you have in your mind, then please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to our channel for more technology-related content. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.